Good morning, everybody. Pay no mind to the very seasoned cookie sheet. It was in the house when we got it. Um, <laughs> and it works perfectly fine. So, we are having... You guys, this scares me to death. They're so hard to cut. Pray I don't end up stabbing myself. And if any of you know a better way to do this, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. <laughs> I'm really afraid of this. I'm gonna get Ron. I'm trying to cut this spaghetti squash in half and it's really tough and I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt myself. Can you? You'd rather have me hurt myself. <laughs> well, you're stronger than I am, and I'm having to put a lot of pressure on it, and uh, I don't want to stab myself. I know, right? There we go. Thank you very much. Don't know if you have any of you have used spaghetti squash before. Um this isn't my first time, but it has been a long time. I don't remember them being that tough to cut, but I am older. I am. I don't have the strength I used to have, and that was a little scary. They're about the texture of a pumpkin. And we've all cut pumpkins before. Thank you, Susie, for giving me the word piff. That's what this is called, the piff, which is the part I was cutting out of the uh, uh, jalapeno peppers yesterday. When I shot myself in the eye with the jalapeno juice. And I'm pretty sure you only do that once. are slippery it's hard to get it out well maybe that's uh, good enough they need to make spoons with um, you know like a knife edge on it maybe they do as good as it's going to get. And now we're going to just uh, lightly um, oil them and put a little salt and pepper. And uh, you know, I have on my ship shopping list 
a brush, you know, to brush oil, and I keep forgetting to, to get it at the store. So I'm using my fingers. They're clean. I washed. I always wash before cooking. And salt and pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt, or pink Him Himalayan salt. I think sea salt's different. And this is coarse ground pepper. I don't, you know what, I'm going to put it in my hand and sprinkle it from there, or I end up putting way too much on. And put them face down. Poke a few, a few holes in the skin. I'm not sure what that part's about, but and then put it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes, preheated at 400 degrees. Hey Google, set an alarm for 30 minutes. You know, a lot of people um, ask me, uh, how do you like your Instant Pot? Well, the funny thing is, I always wanted an Instant Pot and, you know, and got one, but I rarely use it. On, I mean, I use it all the time, but never as an Instant Pot. I use the slow cooker uh, function. I use the saute function. I make soups in it, but I rarely use it as an Instant Pot, mainly because I prefer my meat slow cooked. I always think that it you know, it's more tender when it's slow cooked versus um, uh, cooked quickly. That's just my personal preference. But, you know, if you are in a hurry and you want to do a roast or something, it, it is great. I have used it that way, but I just don't use it very often. Um, oh, piece of uh, plastic from the wrapper missed that oops moved the anyway so for now right now I'm going to saute my ground beef or minced beef as they say in the UK and so we'll uh, do that first So because we are um, keto, we buy the fattiest meat we can. This is probably 80% um, I'd have to look at the package but anyway um, because you want as much fat you know keto and carnivore are about fat um, I don't always use jarred sauce but there's no shame in my game this is marinara because I love marinara sauce I'm just gonna And you may have noticed I used a little bit of um, 
uh, mint, dried minced onion, and none of the jarred sauces are ever flavorful enough for me. So I add Italian seasoning and garlic and onion powder because I like lots of flavor in the sauce. And I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. Um, you do want to limit your tomatoes though on keto because they are high in sugar. They're a fruit. And uh, you know, I actually should have put two cans or two pounds of hamburger in here. I may add another pound of hamburger. I'll cook it on the stove. Just because, you know, this is would be a half pound each. And we easily eat that in a, in a day each. So if I make a little extra, this can be for tomorrow also. So I'll just look, let that cook for a few minutes. Some people have asked, you know, have some people think that keto or carnivore is very expensive. And like I mentioned in another video, it really isn't because all you're buying is meat and vegetables. You don't buy any of the extra stuff except your seasonings, of course. And, um, so we're having keto spaghetti today. Now I'm not going to have another, add another pound of hamburger in that. That's going to be plenty. Okay, we're going to take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. It should be done. It was sizzling, but I turned the um, the heat off. But I'll use a fork to flip them over. And if you've never used spaghetti squash, you are going to um, get a kick out of this. So, can you see that? It turns into like uh, little noodles. That's why it's called spaghetti squash. This was a huge spaghetti squash. In fact, you know what? This will actually be enough for two meals. That's only half of it. Wow. Yeah, I didn't need to get one quite this big, but... And I will warn you, they are a little pricey. Like, this one squash was about $7, but... We'll, like I said, you know, we'll get at least one, if not two meals out of it. Two meals for two people. Two meals for two people. So four meals. Right. Yeah, definitely enough for tomorrow, too.
Holy cow, that's a lot. I am going to add a can of tomato paste to this to thicken, or maybe half of a can to thicken it up a little bit. Turn that down a little bit. Should be wearing an apron. We know how bad t tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce stains clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna put the whole can in here. So this is not something you want to eat regularly on the keto diet just because there is a lot of sugar in the tomato products. I mean, you can buy no sugar added, but I just you just don't eat a lot of it to keep your carbs down. Oh yeah, much better, much better. That's for you, Andy. I'll turn that off. I'm telling you, you guys, if you haven't tried this, you need to. It's so good. You guys, this is so good. I am not even kidding. Probably, uh, well, it would be our daily allowance of carbohydrates. We don't count carbs. We don't count anything. We just don't eat carbohydrates <laughs> unless they come from natural food, like tomatoes and um, the spaghetti squash. And like I said, the occasional uh, low-carb tortilla. Um, but... This is really good.